What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Then We Eat. Remember last week when Steve was showing you three ways to make asparagus? Well this week I'm here to show you what to do with your asparagus when the season's coming to an end. So this week I'm going to show you how to preserve asparagus. Asparagus, like most vegetables, can be frozen, but you can't freeze it from raw. If you freeze it from raw, you're going to lose some color, your nutritional value is going to get much worse, your texture is not going to be as good, it's just not going to be as good. So today, we're going to blanch it for a very short amount of time and then freeze it. That should lock in a lot of those nutrients and make your asparagus much better when you go to eat it again. As I'm sure you can hear, I've gone ahead and put a pot of water on the stove so once that comes up to a boil, you can add your asparagus. Just straight water, nothing else. Just bring that to a boil. So our water's up to a boil now. Let's go ahead, let's add a bunch of asparagus, enough to kind of fill the pot. It's probably good there. We'll let that boil away for three or four minutes. Then we'll pull it out and put it in an ice bath. One thing I should point out while I let this finish up boiling is I did go ahead and cut mine in half. You can cut it up if you'd like or you can leave it whole, it doesn't matter. I cut mine in half just because it's easier to fit in the pot and it'll be easier to store later on. But if you want to keep it whole, no issues doing that as well. That's been three minutes, let's start pulling it out and getting it right into our ice bath. We're going to leave that in the ice bath for the exact same amount of time that we left it in the water. In my case that's three minutes, if you do four minutes, make sure you bathe it for four minutes as well. You do want to do it for the same length of time, both blanching and ice bathing. Our asparagus has been three minutes. Let's pull it out of the ice bath and we're gonna dry it as best as we can. We want it as close to bone dry as we can get it. Once they're dry, we're gonna put them on a cookie sheet. Then we're gonna stick these right in the freezer. You're gonna leave them in the freezer till they're perfectly frozen. Then you can go ahead and you can combine them together into bags. Depending on what you want, I'll vacuum seal mine and probably a couple of individual servings so we have a few for dinner. And I did want some of this for soup as well, so we'll leave a whole bunch of it for soup. And when you go to reheat it, it's very important. Reheat it from frozen. You do not want to let this stuff thaw. It will get mushy and you'll start to really lose a lot of the texture. And the best way to reheat this is in a frying pan with some oil or butter. It seems to hold its consistency the best doing that. So into the freezer they go. And unfortunately, there's nothing for me to try. So that's it for this video. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell to get notified when we upload next. And let us know in the comments below, what other vegetables would you like to see us preserve for the rest of the summer? Oh, and don't forget, First we cook, then we eat.